A cordial greeting. Today is Wednesday, June 12, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. Over the past few weeks, we have continued discussing the arrival of a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, which is expected to promote the activity of showers and precipitation across Central America and Southern Mexico. Additionally, since the end of May, we had mentioned that the climatology under these conditions could lead to the formation of the first cyclone of the season, in both the Atlantic region and the eastern Pacific waters. As projected, we have observed an increase in shower activity across Central America, Southern Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, and western Cuba this week, with some significant flooding reported, particularly in the southern half of the Florida Peninsula. Here, we have Invest 90, which has a low probability of developing into a tropical depression as it moves away from Florida and heads toward the open waters of the Atlantic. There is a possibility that this could become the first tropical storm of the season. If not, the next candidate will be a low-pressure system expected to develop in the Bay of Campeche early next week. On the other hand, we can also see how the instability associated with the monsoon trough remains active to the south of Oaxaca and Chiapas. This area is also a zone where a low-pressure system with cyclonic development potential can develop. In the next image, you can see that the phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation will remain quite active over Central America for at least the next 10 days. Eventually, it will move over the Atlantic and reach the African continent where by the end of June or early July, new favorable conditions for the formation of some tropical cyclones could arise. Although yesterday we talked in more detail about how this cyclonic formation might occur, today I would like to discuss the expected effects across southeastern Mexico and the Central America region. Unfortunately, we are expecting extreme rainfall totals over the next five to seven days, which could cause flooding and landslides across western Central America and the southern and eastern states of Mexico. The rainfall totals, which we will show later in this video, could be catastrophic for this area. If you live in Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, the southern states of Mexico, or the eastern states of Mexico, please pay close attention to this video and prepare for an extreme rainfall event. Also, do not forget to stay vigilant for the possibility of cyclonic development in both the Pacific waters and the southern Gulf of Mexico region. For the Pacific, the National Hurricane Center currently maintains a 20% probability of tropical cyclone development which would initially move northwest but eventually, the Central American gyre should carry the energy of this circulation over parts of Chiapas, Oaxaca, Veracruz, or even Guatemala. Once this energy moves into the Bay of Campeche, it could also have cyclonic development potential. Currently, there is a 30% probability of tropical cyclone development over the next seven days. Therefore, here at Hurricane Info, we have issued new green alerts for Guatemala, Chiapas, Oaxaca, Veracruz, and Tamaulipas due to the low threat of a tropical cyclone affecting these areas over the next seven days. I will continue updating this forecast, but let's focus particularly on the expected rainfall across the region. In the next animation, you can see the precipitable water over the next seven days. In green, you can see above normal moisture. And in particular, I want you to notice that starting Sunday, the Central American gyre develops and strengthens, which will bring substantial rainfall from the Pacific affecting parts of Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Chiapas, Oaxaca, and other regions of the Yucatan Peninsula, as well as Central and Southern Central America. As you can see in the GFS projection, this low-pressure system could cross over Oaxaca and Chiapas and eventually move into the Gulf of Mexico, strengthening and possibly threatening the Veracruz and Tamaulipas region by mid-next week. In the next animation, you can see the Doppler radar projection according to the GFS model. Pay particular attention to the green and yellow colors representing heavy rainfall that will affect Central America, Southern Mexico, and by the beginning of next week, Central and Eastern Mexico. You can see that rainy days are expected, particularly from Sunday, extending until mid to late next week. This is definitely good news for some sectors in Southern, Central, and Eastern Mexico, where, as you can see in this image, Significant droughts ranging from moderate to exceptional are currently affecting the eastern and central parts of the country. In this particular area, substantial rainfall is expected over the next seven days. We are talking about 200 to 300 millimeters according to the latest estimates from the American model, and you can see that southern and eastern Mexico will be receiving some rain next week. However, some of these totals could exceed 200 to 400 millimeters, especially in the Oaxaca region, which could cause significant flooding and pose a risk to life. Also, see that for the Yucatan Peninsula, rainfall totals between 100 to 125 millimeters are expected over the next seven days. The maximum rainfall totals could be reported across Chiapas, southern Guatemala, El Salvador, southern Honduras, and western Nicaragua. 
the American model projection estimates that these regions could receive between 500 to 800 millimeters of accumulated rainfall. These are extreme amounts that, if this forecast holds, will definitely pose a significant danger to this region and potentially a catastrophe. It is important for residents of Central America, especially Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and the state of Oaxaca in Mexico, to pay close attention to this forecast. Unfortunately, there is considerable confidence in this forecast, because the European model is also showing rainfall totals between 400 to 700 millimeters affecting these areas. To show that we are not exaggerating the severity of the matter, the European model has maximum rainfall totals that could exceed 800 millimeters, similar to the GFS model. We cannot rule out that some areas could receive over 800 millimeters of rain, especially between Sunday and Wednesday of next week. For now, this is the update I have. Stay tuned over the coming days, as I will be updating the new rainfall accumulation projections, as well as monitoring the Bay of Campeche region and southern Mexico to see if any tropical cyclones develop. To ensure you do not miss these updates and upcoming videos, please check if you are subscribed to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video to the red button that says subscribe, click on it, and then click on the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. Also, remember that if you want to support my project and receive some additional benefits, you can click on the blue button that says join and see different sponsorship plans, where with a small monthly contribution you can receive some additional benefits. Well, with that, I say goodbye. The next video will be to talk a bit about the forecast issued by Colorado State University regarding the expected cyclonic activity in the Atlantic. It is very likely that I will record that video tonight. So now, I say goodbye until next time.